Good people, we are back with another tutorial. I cannot wait for you to hear this one. I'm gonna play it through. This is my new track called Lies. It's got a similar vibe to MK, PS1, stuff like that. So have a listen. I'll play it through to the first drop and then I'll go through it with you. Summer house vibe. That is the first drop, ladies and gentlemen. So we have a kick, slight EQ on it, just cutting out a little bit of a top frequency by the looks of it. Just makes it punch through a little bit better. Got a different type of clap here, which is a snap, which just brings it in nicely. Which has got no EQ on. Sits nicely in the mix, so, so that's why. Bang broke, don't fix it. We've got another clap when it, it comes in. Low cut, boost the high, make it pop. We've got an open hat by the looks of it. Shaker kind of hat, low cut. On the drop, we've got an open hat. Low cut again, but a bit less, so it fills some space. Bit of shuffling hats. No EQ on them, nothing. Best practice I know, but it worked for me. And then underneath we've got a little bit of a tambourine loop just to build up that energy in the track. Sounds nice. So the main thing that people want to know is my pianos. Got a Nexus. Let me just loop this. Librarian on a Nexus Dance Pop 2 piano without the processing and the stereo imager. Is that like a normal grand piano? Gives it a bit of air in front of it when you low cut it, cut out some of the mids and boost a lot of the highs. Stereo splitter, where images are in. At 150, just moves it out to the side, fills some space. Underneath it, we have the Korg M1, which I already know is a house piano. M1 house piano with a utility, pushing it a bit wider just so it gels in with the other one, which is quite wide. And that's just playing the higher notes and octave up, low cut. And on the bus, we've got the VC6670 uh, compressor, T-Rax vintage compressor, piano comp. Not doing much. Sorry, let's solve all that. Glue compressor by Cytonics. If you don't have it, get it. Pop piano, probably a preset. Move the threshold down a bit. OTT. Let's have a look out. Let me uh, turn all of them off. Oh, still don't know how to turn them all off. Well, that one's automated, so... Without that on, so we've got the compressor. It's, that makes a difference on its own. Blue compressor brings it up again. OTT adds a bit of grit, dirt to it. Kickstart makes it bounce. 
auto filters just for when I am filling it in, such as here. As you can see, it moves. Let's have a look what else we've got underneath. So we've got an arpeggiator using Avalon's arpeggiator, which you can find in MIDI. Top one arpeggiator. A pluck from Serum. When it wants to load, I turn the arpeggiator. It's a standard pluck. It's already got some effects on it. People say you should use your own effects. I like to it fit in, so who cares? You make music for you. And if it sounds good, it sounds good. EQ, take the EQ off it. Taking some highs out, a lot of lows out. Kickstart. The kickstart will be on maybe 30%. I do turn it up in some tracks, which are more bass heavy. So the kick can punch through. But the kick drives this track a lot because there's not much of a bass underneath it. We've got a string. Which I'll get rid of the arpeggiator. So that's just a string out of Nexus. Hanzo strings with a low cut. Cutting out 400 is your muddy region, so you want to cut. If you're cutting stuff which is quite high, you can cut really high, or if you want it to be a bit thicker, cut above 400, I would say. Kickstart on it again. Strings make a massive difference to a track, trust me. Let's listen to it without it, and then with it. Fills that frequency range. I'll build the track, add some tension into the track. But the thing that carries this track is definitely it, that vocal chop. That is out of this vocal, which is a royalty free vocal. I think he's Kate Wilde. Really nice vocal. And that bit has been cut out the first phrase. So I've cut it out. So look at any processing. We've got some vintage reverb, Valhalla. Smooth radio vocal. Preset on the glue. We've got another vocal that sits underneath. Add lib, add tension into it, gives it, if you have something like that, we have a lot of reverb on it, it makes the track sound wider than it is, so it fills some space, we've got this little other ad lib, which I really like, we've got the other little vocal, as you can tell, the song's called Lies, and on that, there is another glue compressor so glue everything together because you've got so many different reverbs and stuff different dry wets different decay times it just glues it all together the bass is really simple so that will be a sub bass cut at 250 made into mono that's just in serum donkey bass serum again All together, we've got vocal, extra vocal chops, which are pitch shifted down, which would, I would say, start a bit abruptly, but the kickstart sorts it out. And that is a quick breakdown. Once you've heard the first minute of the track, minute and a half, there's not much more learning to be done. There's also a lot of structure, structuring, arrangement, taking stuff out, putting new stuff in. You've got your effects sat underneath, which are really basic. We've got a down lifter, kind of click, which brings the energy back down. Another down lifter. All the panning, we've got the crash, 909 crash, just tripled, tripled it up there. Add some variation, really, really simple. 
So, quick tutorial. Trying to get more and more done as the weeks go on. More tutorials, more content for you guys. I've got a studio now, so I'll be going there quite a lot. I have now have a Patreon. So you can now go to my Patreon and put in one project file a month for £3 a month, one project file a month. Believer is already on there, my track. There is another tier where you can pay £5 a month, which you get one project file a month and also 10 mini tracks a month. So I think it's quite beneficial for people to learn. It helps me be able to create more content, have more time on my hands because obviously, you know, I work full time as well. I'm trying to do this YouTube thing a lot more and also do music. So you can check out Lies. It's out on the 9th of July on all platforms. Go check it out. Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. And leave me a comment, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Drop me a message if you're struggling with something. Thank you very much for watching and take care.